Okay, so it's nice to see that OnePlus is adding premium features even on OnePlus 12 series. Recently, OnePlus 13 series got a new feature called Mindspace. And the same feature have been added on OnePlus 12 also. Along with that, OnePlus 12 series also gets some exciting changes, which we'll be talking about them in this video. But before moving ahead, if you guys find our content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing. So here I have my OnePlus 12. I've already updated the device. If you guys haven't received an OT update, we do have this full zip file. You can download the zip file from the description below and install it manually. Or else you can just go to the update section, tap on these three dots, and select the beta program. Here you should see a new release candidate. And after this new release candidate, now we have got a new card of close beta. So very soon we are also going to see Oxygen OS close beta bells for OnePlus 12 series. The same card was added on OnePlus 13 also after the latest update of July. So here you can see the version. This is 15.0.0.840, though it's based on Oxygen OS 15.0.2. Security patch update is of 1st July 2025. You can also take a look at the update size, which was quite massive, around 1 GB of size. And if you take a look at the change logs, which are layered to Mindspace, camera application photos application got a lot of changes then we have some additional changes mentioned for the applications and later system changes by the way there are few things which oneplus haven't mentioned in the change logs let's talk about them first and the first one is bypass charging so finally oneplus have added the bypass charging feature even on oneplus 12 so if you open any game so let me open up the gaming dashboard here and if i scroll down you can see there's a feature called bypass charging Tapping on it, here your device should be connected to the charger to see all the options. And once the charger is plugged in, you'll see all these options. Like the target battery level. Here we have options like 20, 40, 60 and 80. For example, if you're doing gaming and if you have set the target level to 40, up to 40 your device will charge normally. But after 40, the device will directly power the motherboard instead of passing it to battery and then going to the board. So this feature can be really useful if you do a lot of gaming. And I've made a dedicated video on this particular topic. You guys can check it out. Link of that can be found in the description below. So one feature is this which they have added. And after that they have finally got the OnePlus AI search feature. So here if you tap on the search bar, you can search anything and AI will get you the answer. Here you can also see there are some prompts. So I'll show you guys an example. If I tap here on this prompt, you can see searching your device generating results and here we have got the answer for how do I turn off mic recording. If you tap on view all, depending on the AI search, it will give you all the options layer to your microphone. And it's not like you can only get the system search, it also includes the search from applications too. So what I'll do here, I'll just copy this material 3 and now I open up shelf and paste it here. Now tapping on search, you can see it's also searched on internet and after that it has also provided the document which consists of material 3. This is a document present on my device and here we have the notes from where we copied the text. So it does a deep search on your device, a pretty useful feature but I hope they add this thing here in the search bar of app drawer. And guys after you install this latest build of Oxygen OS on your OnePlus 12, here the launcher version will be 15.8.1. One but I'll provide you the latest APK link in the description below. You can install that. After installing that, now the transitions are a lot smoother on my OnePlus 12. It's not a huge update, it's a minor one. The version is now 15.8.19. So just download that application and update your OnePlus launcher. And now let's talk about the changes what OnePlus have done. So the first new add-on what OnePlus have done on OnePlus 12 and that's the add-on of Mindspace which can be found here under accessibility and convenience. If you scroll down, here you can see we have an option of Mindspace. On this device, by default, it looks off. Tapping on it, it will ask you to create a home screen shortcut accept the necessary permissions and now a home screen shortcut have been created basically the mind space feature is something which lets you capture content on your device take a screenshot create a summary of that and save it to the Mindspace application. I'll show you an example how you can use it. Let's take a simple example. Just imagine you have a boarding pass on your device. You just need to use three finger gesture, like three finger swipe up gesture to trigger Mindspace on your OnePlus smartphones. Because on OnePlus 13S, we do have a dedicated button, but here we don't have the plus key on older OnePlus smartphones. So you need to use the three finger swipe up gesture. So now if I use this gesture, you can see an animation and here in the live capsule form, it says analyzing travel info added. Tapping on it, you can see we have the screenshot which we took after that flight search details, which was from Delhi to Mumbai along with the URL. And then it has also created a summary of that, including the hashtags 
and a recommendation for example if you want to add it in the calendar so you won't miss out on your trip this way you can save anything in the mindspace application after that with the next change oneplus says they have added the soft filter for the photos and portrait mode basically these soft filters were already present on the previous build i did mention and i also have a screenshot of that before updating the device here you can see this was a screenshot which i took before updating the device so the soft filter option was already there for the photos and portrait mode i don't know why it has been mentioned in the change log there's I think another change which they have mentioned but that was also present on oneplus 12 series before this update now moving on to the photos application so here they have bought a lot of new changes first one is the add-on of new AI feature so for example I'll take this photo if I now go to edit section tap on AI editor here you can see we have a new option called AI perfect shot and if you're doing it for the first time guys remember there will be some plugins required to be downloaded just download everything do not ignore anything or else this feature won't work basically this feature helps you recognize and replace the facial expressions of the same person in different scenes and here you can see soon i tapped on that perfect shot option it detected all the faces similar to the photo which i used all are different expressions from different photos which are present on this device so it uses ai to analyze the entire gallery and the faces so if i want i can add any reaction here a great feature to play around but now due to ai authenticity is something we need to worry about and for the editing options also they have added few more things like if you have any video you can export that video as live photo which will be a three second video and you can also mark in an out position so you can select a specific three second frame for the live photo and along with that for the same video you can also export as photo too and it will be a high resolution photo it sort out that issue of taking screenshot from a video and then making it as photo that way it loses quality but this one tap feature will give you the best quality photo from that particular video and the last change here on the editing is if you have any live photo you can export a particular frame as a photo from that live photo so these are the changes what they have done in the photos application another thing what they have mentioned about enhanced customization option on the photos homepage allowing you to hide content of specific album from the overall photo list so that thing i wasn't able to find it here and even on oneplus 13 they have mentioned this thing but i couldn't discover it and another thing which i forgot to mention that's again related to video editing so now if you edit any 120 fps photo even after edit it will retain the same 120 fps only so the fps won't be degraded i don't have any 120 fps video so did not test it out if you guys have tested out let me know in the comment section below now moving on to the changes which are related to application so here one change they have mentioned and and that's in the alarm application so if you tap on these three dots go to settings they have mentioned about this gradual alarm volume so this was already there i did take a screenshot before updating the device so this feature was already there again i'm not sure why they have mentioned it then now recorder application supports customizable grouping so let's open up the recorder application so here we have the recorder application and you can see we do have new options over here depending on the recordings available on your device it will automatically categorize them and you'll be able to see all the different categories tapping here you also have an option to create a new group tapping on new you can select the group name select the color palette and a new group will be created previously this automatic categorization was not available after that we have also got the support of stacked widgets so if you long press on the home screen tap on this plus icon now we can add the stacked widgets but only for the oneplus stock widgets currently you cannot choose third party widgets for the stacked option and if you are using stacked widgets make sure you choose this similar size i mean here you can see i have selected both the widgets which are of similar size and if i drop it here now it will be in a form of stacked widgets tapping on done i can scroll and switch widgets until now i did not find any kind of limitations you can add as many widgets you want but it has to be of similar size let's take an example of another shape so here i've added almost four widgets if i long press on it i can expand the widget and this is how they look once you expand them after that oneplus says added support for multi-screen control which allows you to display one app in full screen and another in floating windows and you can use them simultaneously but this thing was already possible previously i don't know why it has been mentioned now so here you can see i've opened two applications and i can use both the applications at the same time this used to work before also and it still works after that they have added a temporary block feature for the notification so that can be found if you go to settings notifications if you tap on banner here you can see we have a new option called temporary block and if you tap here there are two options one is for one minute and the second one is until screen is blocked so here how it works for example if you are playing game or watching any video and you receive a notification which you don't want to read right away you can just swipe up if this thing is enabled that notification won't appear depending on what option you have selected 
For example, if I select one minute, within that one minute, if I get multiple notifications, I only have to swipe it out once until another 60 seconds, I won't see any message from that particular application. After that, next option is until screen is logged. So in this case, until you log the device, you won't receive the notification of that particular person or application. A very thoughtful add-on what OnePlus have done. Then they say they have added a restart toggle in the control center. Basically, it's not a restart toggle. They have added a power option. Here you can see we have a new tile called power off. By default, you won't find it here. You need to tap on edit. And from here, you need to add this option. And I don't know why they have mentioned restart. It just gives you the similar screen what do you see when you press the power key i think they should have added a dedicated toggle for the restart and power off at the end we have to use the slight gestures either to power off or restart the device after that they say the fingerprint icon will now only appear when you tap the screen or lift the phone facing up with the always on display and that's true here you can see i just kept my device on the table and the fingerprint icon have disappeared until i tap on the screen or lift the device facing upside, I won't be seeing the fingerprint icon. So this is another add-on what they have done. And at last they have improved the moment range of mini windows. So here again, they are talking about the floating windows. So previously, if you're using any application in floating windows mode, and if you're using this mini window, which is the smallest one, it doesn't use to go below this screen. But now you can drag and drop more towards the bottom side. Only 30% of the screen is now visible compared to previously where we used to see the entire screen of mini window. And at last they say they have added the July security patch. So guys, these are all the changes what OnePlus have done with the latest update of Oxygen OS for OnePlus 12 series. If you guys have any kind of questions, drop them in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.